Hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. God bless you. I pray that you are having a fantastic day. The sun is bright. The skies are clear. God is good. A little crisp in the air this morning. Uh, I just enjoy it. I enjoy the changing of the seasons. I enjoy, uh, I, listen, I love the hot summer uh, heat uh, in North Carolina summers filled with humidity and stickiness. And then here comes the, the cool, crisp, fall that's going to cool everything down and an old man winter is, is not far away and as soon as winter comes in here comes uh brother spring again to, to to warm us up god is so good we serve a god who's in charge of everything and my friends don't you let the devil cloud your ability to enjoy the blessings of God by making you think that every little difference, every little change, every little anomaly is global warming or global this or global that or climate change. I heard them say the other day that uh, we set a record and it hadn't been this hot since I think the year was, it was October of 1941. I thought to myself, well, if the last time it was this hot uh, was in October of 1941, then in 1941, was that global warming or was that climate change? No, it's just a trick of the enemy to keep you uptight, to keep you afraid, to keep you concerned about things of which, my friends, we have no power. The whole world is in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. And that means he has the weather and all of these other things in his hands as well. We are called to be good citizens of this planet, but God's got us in his hands and Jesus is going to come and get us when he's ready. Now, I want to invite you to come and study the word of the Lord with me tonight. I'm excited about Bible study. Here we go again. Listen to me. I'm talking to you about Bible study. Be the kind of believer who does, do not have to be tricked, poked, prodded to attend Bible study. Not a game, not a play. Uh, there's no, it's not a social gathering. It's Bible study where we come and study the scriptures together and then take what we learn and apply it to our lives. Uh, I pray that you will meet me here tonight as we study the word of the Lord together. And listen, God has a blessing, my friends. This is, listen, I don't want to sound cliche, but I want to tell you something. God has a blessing, or should I say, another blessing with your name on it because he has blessed us, all of us, over and over and over all of us have so much to be thankful for. And I, I, I'm going to tell you this as I close this. What are the things that I'm most thankful for? If you ask me, preacher, what is it that the Lord has done for you that you appreciate God the most for? If I had to name one single thing uh, uh, other than, than Christ dying on the cross. And, and, and you know what? Uh, this, this includes that. You know what? It's the Christian doctrine. It's the Bible. It's the things that I've come to know about the Lord. Oh my, it is the truth of God and the truth about God. The truth of God is the positions that God has taken, that God takes, what God thinks about everything that happens in society. And the truth about God is the truth that reveals to us who God is. Yes, for, what is na uh, his name and, and, and what, what book actually accurately describes and represents him. And that book, my friend, is the Bible. And I know it and I celebrate it and I encourage you to come out and meet me tonight for Bible study. I'm not going to prophesy. I'm not, I won't lay hands on a uh, 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 hundred of you or, or, or 200 of you. Uh, we're not going to do anything fancy. I'm telling you right now, we're going to have a little praise and worship. We're going to have an opening prayer. And then guess what we're going to do? The thing, you probably can hear it. 
music to my ears. We're going to open the pages of the Bible and we're going to study the Bible together. I'll see you tonight for Bible study.